hey friends welcome back to my channel it's your girl fallon um no but on a serious note i'm not doing very well um my husband will be deploying for six months i will be practically a single parent for six months well almost seven months because he has to quarantine for two weeks on his way there and then on his way back he will be required to quarantine again so practically seven months it's more than half a year yeah so i get to claim the kids this year just kidding <laughs> so this video will be a deployment packing video um i am a huge organizer and my husband is not so i decided well we decided to allow me to take the reins on this and uh, i basically had organized his luggages his carry-on everything with of course input from him you know he told me what clothes he wanted to take and i had organized everything i have a whole system set up so i decided to film it just to give some ideas on those of you that may be deploying soon spouses uh, give you spouses a few tips on how to help your spouse prepare for deployment how to help them pack organize these are just the things that i like to do and the way i like to organize things it is not perfect but you know it works for us and i will say this this is our very first deployment so i'm sure there are a few things that i'm missing um you know my husband doesn't have that experience yet of hey this worked this time you know or this didn't work maybe we should try this next time so we are in that unprecedented phase in our life with deployment military deployment so cheers I am not ready for him to go, but it's a part of his job and it's my job to accept it and just roll with the punches. I am excited and looking forward to having my own personal time, um, individual time with the children, you know, looking forward to having this chance to focus on my hobbies and my goals you know so i'm really looking forward to having this time to take advantage of without worrying about needing to set aside a certain amount of myself to my marriage um now when i say that i mean to my marriage uh like physically spending time together you know doing things together hanging out and whatnot and now that my husband will not be physically here we're not going to be able to have we're not going to have that time to spend together um yes we'll be able to chat on the phone and you know video chat and all that stuff but in reality with the time difference and he's going to be working six days a week 12 hours a day we're not going to have that much time to really devote to one another so that time that i will gain from losing that time with my husband, I will focus it on positive avenues and things that'll keep me busy. So I'm actually really looking forward to that. I just hope this time goes by pretty fast. I hope the kids behave. Haha, <sighs> -ha, kids behaving. That's a funny joke, right? Um, but yeah, just looking forward to it. All right, guys. Well, I guess I better get started and show you guys what we have. Okay? all right y'all so this is what the room looks like now preparing for six month deployment for my husband everything's kind of just laying everywhere trying to organize as best as we can this is definitely not everything um we're still organizing his uniforms he's setting if he wants to take his um the old uniforms and the OCPs or just the OCPs not sure still have a lot of civilian stuff to take care of still got to grab his comforter and pillow and sheets and all that stuff but this is kind of what everything's looking like right now
So in order to create the labels for my husband's belongings, I used my Brother P Touch label maker, which I believe I found on Amazon for about $30, so not too bad. toiletries that he's taking um, he has his body wash he has six of them he's gonna be there for six months like I said so he has six of his body washes and everything is closed with tape so that way it doesn't open up and then um, place in Ziploc bags so that way if it does open up it's just gonna be contained in that one bag and not mess up his entire luggage he has some um, body powder his extra deodorants uh, lotion. I think this is another body wash. It's gonna fit. Yep. Sunscreen because where he's going, it's gonna be very hot and sunny. And then foot powder. If you know anything about anybody deploying in the military, they say foot powder is a must. So especially in hot weather. So he has three things of foot powder. All his toothpaste, um, Q-tips an extra thing of toothbrushes. So in here, there are four different toothbrushes in here. I have heard that because it's communal showers and bathrooms, if you ever drop your toothbrush in the bathroom, that's it, say bye to it because the desert has it at that point because it's just disgusting. So he has four extra toothbrushes. He has an, a brand new toothbrush in his 72 hour bag. So he will be leaving with a total of five. His loofahs and then here he has just a thing of wipes um, wipes come in handy for anything and everything wiping your hands wiping your face cleaning surfaces wiping things down wipes are just good for everything he also has two huge laundry mesh bags for his dirty clothes once he gets there so two big black ones a roll of to toilet paper because yes he will be using probably more than likely he will be using a communal shower and bathroom, but I've heard it's recommended to bring an extra roll of toilet paper for emergencies just in case. For some reason there's no, no toilet paper, he's not left high and dry. Um, here he has his extra face mask filters, um, because of course right now COVID-19 is still very active and a huge problem in the world, um, so he's required to have his face masks, but these are just his filters, so that way it you know, ensures that his face masks are actually working properly, and not just, you know, for sure, for sure, so it's actually protecting him. And he can change those out when he needs to. This bag is his medicine bag, his medication and first aid bag. Um, this one he won't be using as often as these, so I just put it in this packing cube here in a Ziploc bag as well. But he has his allergy medicine, pain medication, uh, Pepto-Bismol in case he has upset stomach, cold and flu medicine, um, a mini first aid kit with extra band-aids in there, 
and then some vitamin C, you know, if he ever feels like he's coming down with the cold. I just want the love of my life to be set and not have to worry about anything. And then this is, uh, he has a small pack of laundry pots. He doesn't technically need this for where he's going for his deployment, but he's quarantining again for two weeks prior to getting to his actual deployment location. Um, but they don't supply these at his for his quarantine, so we just got him a small pack of um, laundry pods. These are his shower shoes, um, especially if you're going to be showering in a public area, you want to make sure you have shower shoes because the floor tends to get nasty, so these can protect his feet. But this is the attachment for his Hydro Class. He has a straw one and then another canister cover with an extra straw, just in case he needs it. Okay, so he has to pack his own uh, comforter and sheet set. So this is his comforter. It's not like a huge comforter. Um, again, where he's going, it's not gonna be really, it's not gonna be cold at all. It's gonna be pretty hot most of the time. So he has this nice soft microfiber plush blanket, enough to keep him warm, but not too hot, and it's small enough to fit in his luggage. And then we use packing cubes for all his clothes. Well, I use packing cubes for all his clothes just to keep everything nice and organized so he knows where to find them. Um, if it was up to my husband, I'm sure he would have just thrown all his clothes in his bag, zipped it up, and called it a day, right? Uh -huh. So in this one here, I have all of his civilian tops. This one here would be all of his civilian bottoms. And with his civilian tops, it's a mixture of, you know, his long sleeves, short sleeves, dress shirts, just in case he ever uh, has a chance to venture off base. Um, so those are all in here. And his bottoms, packing cube, and these are pretty big. He has his shorts, gym shorts, sleeping pants, jeans, anything and everything that goes on the bottom half of his body is gonna be in here. This one is all of his civilian socks. He does have a separate bag and separate packing cubes for all of his work related uniforms and all that so this is his civilian socks and then all of his underwear goes in here he's going to be taking two sweatshirts just because he will be there when winter time starts and it'll get a little cold so we just want to make sure he's prepared for that and not you know left with nothing once the weather starts to change so he has two sets of sweatshirts he does have three towels down here and two washcloths wash cloths and then he also has his two lupus so he has a choice between lupus and wash cloths and then two sets of sheets so he will be supplied with a twin size bed in his dorm um, so he has two twin size sets of sheets and they all come with a fitted sheet of course a flat sheet and a pillowcase and then these are his civilian shoes he's going to be taking his black whatever his black shoes and then his boots my favorite boots that he wears then this is the bag that everything needs to fit in he has his pillow on here already so all this stuff that we just showed you all his civilian stuff and his toiletries has to fit in this bag not to mention he's gonna be bringing a TV so he can play his PlayStation so this is a TV that he's gonna be packing it's not going to be in this box, but we're going to take it out of the box, out of the box, put it on top of his pillow, which is on the bottom of his bag, and then also wrap the TV with his towels to keep it protected. Okay, so this is my husband's carry-on. Um, this will serve as his 72-hour bag. He got this issued to him by the Air Force. Um, it is partially packed, but out here on the side, he has his earphones and then some hand sanitizer because he can't be catching coronavirus while he's out there okay so in this front pocket well he also i also put like a, a luggage tag it's one of those privacy luggage tags so it has all his information in there but you would have to unhook it in order to see it, it just shows his name it's made a middle and it's nice okay so in this front pocket we have um just mainly items that he needs to be able to reach quickly um like so for instance he has all his pens over here and then in this pocket i have some extra lighters um just in case his 
Cinepix, which he's never used before, but maybe he'll use it on this deployment. <laughs> and then uh, some chapstick, his Allen wrench set, just in case he needs that while he's overseas, and then um, some extra AAA batteries. And the reason why he has extra AAA batteries is because he has a flashlight here. Um, you never know, especially if you're flying on military flights when you're gonna need a flashlight. What the heck is on there? Oh, and then there's also this fire starter in case. You never, ever, ever know if you're ever going to be in a survival situation. In this bag, this would be his electronics bag. So in here, um, he has some uh, adapters, power adapters. Like I mentioned, he's gonna be quarantined for two weeks on his way to his deployment. Um, and that's gonna be over in Europe, so he needs some adapters for that. And then extra power cords for his um, for his phone and then stuff like that. So this is just basically all his electronics in this bag. And then back here, his armband with his work ID, which I will not show you guys, his uh, airman's manual, and then his multi-tool for work. Okay, in this pocket, this is basically just going to be where he's going to keep his notebook if he ever needs to write any notes down or if he wants something to keep him busy while he's flying or waiting. Um, and then also where he's going to keep all his important papers. So his deployment orders, anything else that he needs to take with him that's important, this is going to go in this spot here. All right, so this bag only has three compartments. Um, so we have one, two, and then there's the big one. Now this is a really huge compartment because it has the ability right here to, you know, widen the bag or make it smaller if you needed to. We obviously chose to widen it because somebody's taking his PlayStation with him. <laughs> and it fits perfectly. So in here he has his PS4, all his cords, and his controllers. How many controllers do you have in there? One. Just one? Okay, so this is where we're gonna fit everything else. So it's recommended that he not only wear a set of uniforms, but also have a, an extra pair in his bag as well. So he's gonna have an extra set of uniforms, and then he's gonna have this bag here, whoops, which will have all his other clothes. So he has uh, three pairs of socks, three pairs of underwear, he has shorts, shirts, one set of PT uniforms just in case, and then some extra patches and stuff, and extra work shirts and work socks. So that's gonna go in the bag once I zip it up. And then in this bag, I put all his toiletry items um, because 72 hour bag, you need to prepare for 72 hours, right? Just in case you don't get to your destination in time. If you need to stop somewhere unexpected, you wanna be prepared. So this is all his toiletries. So he has uh, face and body wipes for men, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, um, dental items, his toothbrush, toothpaste, dental floss, deodorant, and extra bar soap. And then I think another chapstick, yeah, chapstick, nail clipper, because his nails grow super fast and long like ladies. <laughs> and then these wet wipes. So these are these little expandable coins where you put them in water and they expand. And these are, I think they're like 14 inches by 14 inches. They're huge when they expand. You can use these to wipe your hands, wipe your face, wipe your butt. <laughs> it's good for anything and everything. So I put these in here. I always have these in all of my bags, my emergency bags in my cars, uh, my purse camping gear, anything like that. I always have these in all my all my bags, so I figured it would make sense to put some in my husband's deployment bag. Okay, now in this bag, this is his little snack bag. Not too much, just because he doesn't have that much space left over after his clothes and his uniforms. So I just went ahead and got a couple things. So he has like a trail mix, some Cheez-Its, Oreo. It's just after 4th of July, so of course it's red, white, and blue. 
um, these Gatorade Energy Chews, which he really likes. And then some vitamin C and cough drops, just in case. Especially since you're going to be flying, you know, the air gets really dry up there. And you never know if he doesn't have any access to coffee. And my husband is a huge coffee drinker, so I packed him some of these instant coffee folders. Even though he doesn't like these, I'm sure this is better than not having any coffee at all. Oh, and then I forgot about these data skins, cheddar jalapeno. Um, we're also packing my husband's sunglasses. This is Oakley's, which really need to be cleaned. Um, that's a must. And then of course, ladies, if you have a husband who dips and you of course know when he goes overseas or travels or anything, needs to have extra of these. This is a must have. So he has two logs right now, which I don't think is enough, right? No. <laughs> Okay, so here's my husband's hydro flask um, that he's gonna have filled with water. He's gonna take with him on the on the plane and whatnot, and then I just labeled his name on there. I wanted to get some fancy stickers that just you know nice and big and whatnot, but we didn't have time because they pushed his date up. And then this as well, a neck pillow. This neck pillow as well will be going with him with his carry-on. So. So he's also going to be taking this portable charger. It's an Anchor, which is an awesome brand. I've had this thing for a couple years. It's massive and heavy, but it holds a charge like none other. It can charge, I believe, our iPhones like 10 times. It can charge your iPad, your Mac, your laptops, whatever. So he's going to be taking this with him as well, and that's going to be going in his 72-hour bag. So this is everything that would be going in his carry-on, his 72-hour bag. Babe, I love you. extra space and those are a little tight we just took all the extra stuff and we're gonna put put in here since there's plenty of space I'm not like her uh, I'm not gonna do this all neatly and stuff I'm just gonna shove it in here Stinky fishy breath. Okay. Okay, so obviously all his uniforms are gonna go in here. Come here. All his cold go. weather uniform uniforms are in here. And like I showed you guys earlier, 
everything is labeled with his name and what is in each packing cube. So it's easier for him to find what he needs. And then also it's easier for him to pack all his crap up when he's ready to come back home to me. So this is all his cold weather stuff. And this one, when it gets cold towards the end of his deployment, and this is all of his uniform socks. His warm weather, normal weather, warm weather, whatever, and then cold weather stuff. His gloves, extra patches, belts, this thing, neck gaiter. Garter. It's, it's a gaiter. Garter. It's gaiter. Neck gaiter. Yeah. Whatever. Gator garter. It's a noodle tomato. And then all his PT uniforms are in here just because I couldn't fit it all in a packing cube. <laughs> and then back here, these are like his warmer PT gear, all of his warmer PT gear stuff. And then he has a duffel bag down here that he can use for when he needs to go to the gym and work out. And then also he can use it to carry his, um, it can also serve as like his shower caddy too when he goes to take a shower. All his hearing protection, his, <laughs> Reflective belt. Right on. And then his right issued goggles that he got, as well as his issued sunglasses that he got. So these are going to be going in here. You okay? <gasps> Ew! <laughs> disgusting! That is gross. See, that's why you shouldn't chew tobacco. He just spilled all of his dip spit in his face when he was playing with the dog. <laughs> Gross. Right now, I'm in the car waiting for Cole. Um, we're about to drop him off at his squadron building to head over for his uh, long trip to his deployment. Um, yeah, things have been kind of crazy this morning with finishing up all his packing and make sure everything is done. Um, but it's been keeping my mind away from all the emotional stuff and, you know, and really hard not to cry. <laughs> you can do it, girl. <laughs>